Australia is known for some pretty deadly creatures. We've got the majority of the most venomous snakes and spiders in the world and some of the largest and most aggressive crocs to name a few. But at least one thing we don't have are any of the big cats. Or do we? Throughout New South Wales and Victoria over the last few decades, there have been literally thousands of reports of Black Panther sightings attracting widespread media attention. Not just sightings, but photos and videos as well. This is something that some people have raised very seriously, uh, particularly people who have had um, uh, livestock killed and believe that it was not dogs, but it was some, something like a big cat. Some of the evidence has included carcasses of cows and sheep six metres up trees and attacks on horses and livestock. Well, it's the stuff of legends. For years, there have been reports of giant cats roaming the bush right across Victoria. State line has obtained amazing footage of cows covered in large scratch marks. Farmers say it's the work of a large puma-like animal. However, the Department of Natural Resources and Environment says there's no real proof that big cats exist here. Initially, the authorities discounted the sightings as feral cats. But to give you some perspective, take a look at this. A domestic cat usually weighs from three to five kilograms. Feral cats have been found to grow four times this size, weighing up to 19 kilograms. Now a black panther can be either a melanistic leopard, weighing near 90 kilograms, or a jaguar, which weighs around 158 kilograms. But how could someone possibly mistake a feral cat for a panther? Especially when a number of these sightings were by groups of trained professionals, including park rangers and wildlife experts at a close distance. In fact, the problem became so concerning and numerous that the Australian government launched two federal investigations in 1999 and 2003. Using panels of experts to determine the likelihood, a big cat expert, Johannes Bauer, with experience in China and Nepal, was brought in in 2003 and concluded that the most likely explanation is the presence of a large feline predator in this area, most likely a leopard. In Gippsland, Victoria in 2005, a local hunter, Carl Engel, noticed large paw prints in a dry creek bed and went to investigate only to come face to face with a panther that jumped towards him. He shot and killed it, but was dismissed by authorities despite having photographic evidence. So if there are in fact panthers here in Australia, how? One theory is that they had escaped from private menageries, travelling circuses and zoos over the past century, which is completely possible given the number of animal transport accidents and animals gone missing. Some believe the panthers were brought over as mascots by US servicemen stationed in Australia during World War II that were released at the war's end. Some believe that the panther is endemic and has always been a part of Australia's fauna. What adds weight to this argument are some of the Aboriginal stories of the panther that predate colonisation? Or what if it actually is a feral cat whose size has no precedence? A cat who has grown not only over centuries since colonisation, but perhaps a thousand years before from Indonesian fishing traders. So what do you think? Could there be a species of black panther alive and thriving in Australia today? Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Terra Australis for more free webisodes.